Go ahead and find tabletop position. Come onto all fours. Let's start with a short wrist warm up. Come onto your toes as well. Send the hips back. Keep the arms straight. Spread your fingers a little bit wider. And make sure that always when your hands are having contact with the ground, you grip your fingertips into the mat. Keep the arms straight. Move forward with the shoulders as far as you can. And then move the hips back to the heels. Move forward back a couple more of these just to warm up the wrists you can go faster or slower one more time forward now make circles around the wrists start to connect your breath to your movements a little bit more switch directions Now keep the fingers on the ground, bring the hips over the, the knees, the shoulders over the wrists, and then press into your fingertips, lift your palms up, lift your fingers up as well, so you're only on the fingertips of your four fingers, and then set the palm back down. Lift up, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Now the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. Keep the arms straight, send the hips back. Palms lift up, feel and breathe into your forearms, your fingers and your palms. If you want more, start to bend your arms a little bit more. Sit onto the heels, try to stay on the toes, shake out the wrists. And let's find tabletop again. Again, shoulders over wrists, hips over the knees. Untuck your toes this time. On your inhale, arch your back, look forward. On your exhale, round your back, press into your palms, and then lift the knees up. Just an inch or so above the ground. Feel that space between the shoulder blades. And that space wants to reach up towards the ceiling. Soften the breath down even more. Try to hold this. A couple more breaths. Externally rotate the arms so that the eyes of the elbows are pointing forward. Look down to the ground right between your index fingers or so. Or maybe even close your eyes. Extend, the legs, extend your legs back for plank pose. You can set the knees down if you want to. Whenever this is too much, always remember that you can always pause the video or set the knees down or take a break and then just continue whenever you're ready again. Tuck your tail when engage the core. Lift your hips up a little bit higher so they're on the same height as your shoulders, almost. Keep the arms straight, press into your palms, especially the inside of your hands. On your next inhale, shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, press back up, plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Press up to plank. One more. Plank pose. Come onto your forearms for forearm plank. Make sure that the, or try to at least, to bring the forearms parallel to each other. So you find some more external rotation in the shoulders. Then press into your elbows, lift the space between the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Again, tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Soften the breath down. Bring your feet together. 
come onto the knife edge of the right foot, stack your left foot on top, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling for forearm side plank on the right side. Continue to press into the right elbow, the right forearm, reach your left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Lift your right hip up a little bit higher and move both of your hips forward a little bit. Come back to your breath, slow it down. Try to press the inside of your right hand, the side where the index finger and the thumb is, down into the ground. Bring the left forearm down, back to forearm plank. Other side, bring the feet together. To the left, reach your right arm up. Nice and simple forearm plank holds, but so effective. Lift your left hip up a little bit higher. Move your hips forward. Bring both forearms down, forearm plank. Now keep the hands on the mat in forearm plank. And then try to uh, both try with both elbows at the same time to lift up for kind of like an extended plank pose. And then lower the forearms, the elbows back down, let them hover. Straighten the arms again. Lower and lift. Let's go for five, four. Keep that external rotation of the arms. Keep the core engaged, the glutes engaged. Tuck your tailbone, last two. Last one. Set the forearms down. Lower the hips down. Untuck your toes. Move the chest forward and through. Move the shoulders back. Engage your glutes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the chest and the heart forward. If you want, straighten your arms. Find more of a back bend here in seal pose. Lower your shoulders down away from the ears. And slowly release everything down. Interlace your hands behind your back and lift your chest up. Reach your hands towards your heels. Look straight down to the ground so that there is no wrinkles at the back side of your neck. Try to connect your palms together as well. Lift up even higher. Engage your glutes. And release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Come onto your toes. Lift your knees up. Lift your hips up. Press up to plank. And then downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent for a moment. Just to open up more into the shoulders. And in your back. Move your chest towards the thighs. Slowly start to straighten your legs even more. But keep that length in your shoulders and in your back. Let me pedal one heel down towards the ground and the other. Again, roll through the spine forward to plank pose, nice and slow. Plank pose. Externally rotate the arms, tuck your tailbone, and engage the core. Hold it here for like 30 seconds or so. Remember that you can always take a break, set the knees down. Just try to give your best, whatever that means for you. Also, whatever that means for you today. Maybe yesterday you felt very different, and today all of a sudden you feel different. It's okay. Every day is different. Every practice is different. Shift forward. 
bend your arms, chaturanga, hold it there for 15 seconds. Keep the elbows over the wrists. Do not bend your arms more than 90 degrees. Keep the table intact, the core is strong. Keep pressing into your palms. Squeeze the palms together for five, four, three, two, one. Press up to plank. Downward dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. One more inhale through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. Seal your lips again, come back to that breath. Through the nose, nice and controlled. It's easy to bring the heart rate up and to breathe fast. Try to keep everything nice and controlled, slow, peaceful, not just in the body, mostly in the breath. Even though we are in those challenging and strong holes. Next inhale, lift your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Then keep both legs straight, especially the right leg. And then bring and move the right leg forward as if you want to touch the right foot kind of to the front of the mat where your right hand is. Keep both arms straight as well. Bring the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, move the right foot forward. Bring it up and back. Two more. Up and back, last one. Now connect your right knee to your right triceps. Bend your arms, chaturanga. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press up to plank. Downward dog. Come back to the breath. Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Same thing on this side. Keep the left leg straight. Extend it forward. Keep the arms straight. Bring it up and back. Left leg forward. Up and back. Two more. Last one. Connect your left knee to your left triceps. Bend your arms. Chaturanga hold 10 seconds. Try to have the left knee not touch the arm. Just keep it lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. Press up to plank. Don't work out. Beautiful job. Well, slowly downward facing dog starts to feel like a resting pose. <sighs> Start to set uh, the elbows down to the ground. Maybe both at the same time for dolphin pose. Move the chest forward and through. Through your shoulders, through your arms, towards your legs. Now look between the thumbs, move the nose towards the thumbs, keep the legs straight, press it back, dolphin, move forward, close the thumbs, press it back, two more, press it back, now move forward from here to chaturanga, so you move the nose to the thumbs, at the same time the elbows lift up, chaturanga, Press up to plank, chaturanga again, back to dolphin, forward to chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, dolphin, last one, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, dolphin, beautiful job, straighten both arms, downward facing dog, walk the hands to the back of the mat, towards the feet, forward fold, Grab both elbows, just relax forward and down. Continue to stay here if you want or interlace your hands behind your back. Move your arms and hands up and over your head. 
a little bit of a release for the shoulders. So I release the hands now. Lift up halfway. Exhale forward, forward. Walk the hands forward, downward facing dog again. And set the knees down for tabletop. Shake out the wrists, sit on your heels. For the next one, we're gonna work a little bit more on our pecs. A lot of strength in the shoulders. Also, we're gonna engage a lot in the biceps. The forearms, really full upper body strength exercise or strength movement I really like to do in my own practice as well. For this, I'm gonna move sideways so you can see me better. For you at home, maybe move sideways also so you're on your mat still, especially if you have a slippery floor, now that the palms are a little bit more sweaty. I'm gonna go really wide and the fingertips are pointing away from each other. So regular plank, even wider, like super wide plank, basically. Extend the legs back, bring the feet closer together. Now straighten your arms, press into your palms. I already start to slide a little bit, but it should be okay. Now, um, bend the right arm and keep the left arm straight, and then press back up to this wide plank. Other side, bend your left arm, keep the right arm straight, press back up. Try to go as low as you can. Let's do two more each side. To the left, to the right, bend your right arm, look to your left hand. Go up one more each side. And come back up. Hold it there. Squeeze the hands together. Keep the arms straight. Tuck your tailbone and engage the core. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the knees down. Shake the arms out. These are super hard, especially when it's sweaty and the palms are getting sweaty. Let's go for the same thing again. Feel free to do exactly the same again, or if you want to add on top of this, you're gonna bend one arm and then very close to the ground, glide over to the left side and then press up on that side and then go back down the same side and go to the other side and press them back up. Just follow along. I'm gonna try to do two or three each side. So get into position with your hands. Both arms are straight. Let's start with the right side, bend your right arm. Now we stay close to the ground, move over to the left, bend your left arm, straighten the right, press up. Wide plank. Now bend the left arm, lower down, glide over, straighten the right arm. To the right down, over to the left, and up. Left down, over to the right, and up. Let's do two more. Left down, over, right arm up. Hold it there. Keep the arm straight, tuck your table, engage the core. Soften the breath down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the knees down. Shake out the arms, good job. Shake out the wrists. Let's find both poses. You can flex your feet or point your feet, whatever you do, just keep the feet engaged. Reach your arms forward, hold it there. If it's too much at any point, set the heels down. Let's start to lower down to half boat. Keep the feet together. Shoulder blades are lifted off the ground. Try to press your lower back into the mat. Keep the heels lifted as well. Rise back up to boat pose. 
lower down half boat, lift up to boat, low boat, lift up to boat, and lower, three more. Lower down to half boat. Now rotate, lean to your right side, come onto your right butt cheek, basically the left hip lifts up. And then try to stay on this side and come into boat again, kind of leaning. Oops, the feet lift up, stay lifted, reach your arms forward, lower down, same side, over to the left through center, and then lift up. Lower down, half board on the left, over to the right, rise up, lower, over to the left, and lift up. Let's do two more each side. Try to move nice and controlled. Last one. Each side. Back to low boat. Awesome job. Boat pose. Set the feet down, set the hands down. Lift your head up, reverse tabletop. Keep the hands where they're at. Move the hips forward, set the hips all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, bend your arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Move the elbows closer together. Tuck your chin to the chest, close your eyes. Slowly release, reach your arms forward, come onto your back. Hug both knees into your chest, give yourself a nice hug. Be proud of yourself for working so hard, giving your best. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold your breath at the top. A little bit more air in. Open mouth, let it all go. Extend the legs forward for Shavasana. Palms facing upwards, arms out to the side. Stay here for at least a few minutes. Just to relax, give the body a break. Focus more on the breath without controlling, without changing anything. Fully relax your body, let your body and your muscles melt into the ground. video will just end here now. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope I see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.